In a harrowing incident on Monday afternoon, a 14-year-old girl from Westminster Academy in Westbourne Park, West London, sustained serious, potentially life-altering injuries after an acidic substance was thrown at her near the school premises. The attack also affected a 16-year-old boy and a school staff member who intervened. The Metropolitan Police reported that the assailant, described as a tall, slim black male wearing dark clothing and possibly a mask or balaclava, approached the victims on Alfred Road. After the attack, he fled the scene on an e-scooter down Harrow Road. The substance used in the assault is currently under analysis, but preliminary tests suggest it could be acidic. Both teenage victims and the 27-year-old female staff member were hospitalised. While the girl's injuries are severe, the boys are not life-threatening and the staff member has since been discharged. Additionally, two police officers nearby, after feeling unwell, were also briefly hospitalised as a precaution. The incident led to the deployment of two fire crews and hazardous materials experts from the London Fire Brigade to secure the area. In response to the attack, Westminster Academy closed its doors for in-person learning, shifting to online classes with many staff members working remotely. The school's principal, Numera Anwar, emphasised the need for a thorough investigation and assured that safety measures would be enhanced before reopening. Counselling and support services are being arranged for students with the local authority, Westminster City Council, stepping in to provide additional psychological support. Adam Hugg, the council leader, condemned the attack as truly shocking and announced coordinated efforts with the police to support the community and aid the investigation. The school community and the wider public are urged to remain calm and avoid speculation that could hinder the police investigation. Multiple crime scenes remain active as the authorities continue their probe into this disturbing event.